And now our service will continue with a reading from the gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, as the father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The word of the Lord, the response being, thanks be to God. And now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Our gospel that we just read is particularly appropriate for this celebration of Allred of Rivaux. Because Allred was the writer of the work Spiritual Friendship. And for Allred, this passage that we read was vital to understanding what spiritual friendship truly is. We need the love of Jesus Christ as the source of our spiritual friendship with others. That is the love that Jesus is sharing with the disciples. And this portion of his final discord that we just read in John, which comes right before his death and resurrection. From Jesus's love flows his command to us to love one another. That was true for the disciples that he first gave this command to. It was true for Allred as well. And it's true for us now. And for that love that helps us better love one another, that love that comes from Christ Jesus alone, we can truly say, thanks be to God. 